Salut tout le monde, c'est Axe, j'espère que vous allez bien, très heureux de vous retrouver sur Lake. On va poursuivre notre aventure, notre passion du métier de facteur. On est de retour avec Meredith. Euh, bah du coup, hop, on va entrer dans la camionnette. Good morning, P.O. Alors, juste avant, on regarde, on a pas mal de livraisons à faire ici. Il faut retourner chercher le chat. On a au dîner, ok, diner. Et ici. Très ah bien. Et c'est tout. On n'a pas allé de l'autre côté. Oh, c'est déjà pas mal. Euh, bon, bah, on va faire le tour du quartier ici. Ah, on retourne au magasin. Hop, l'emplacement des livraisons. Allez, on retourne au vidéo club. On va voir notre copine. Je sais pas comment elle s'appelle. Et le bonjour. Oh, hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh wow, you watched it already? Bien sûr. A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband. There's a lot more to this movie than I expected. It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well, it's not as good. You ah, can't point des remakes. smoldering intensity. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the poly encore. classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. Hmm. <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely being the only movie buff around. Mm, well, keep feeding my VCR and I'll be up to speed in no time. Will do. Let me think about it and I'll get back to you. You know, it's good to see you. That's nice to hear. Because I have a sneaky little plan. <laughs> Ok. Oh, we're whispering now. <rire> I want you to meet me, say at, at five today. Uh, mm. What? Like a date? <rire> well, more like a business proposal. Ok. Euh, ouais, allez. All right, I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this afternoon. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place? It's 102 New Street, right? Inviting yourself over? That's quite important. <laughs> well, hey, do you want to know my sneaky little plan or not? Oh, well, it's settled then. See you at five, partner. À la maison. Okay. Elle est un petit peu bizarre quand même, cette fille. Mais... Elle a pas l'air méchante. Comment ça Tu vas me dire que le camion, il est incapable de faire un petit écart oh. bon, La prochaine fois, je me mettrai un peu plus en retrait ou je me garderai ici. Euh, alors, on a du courrier pour les gens ici. Je peux sortir sans me faire écraser par le camion, là Non Ok, bah écoute. Elle va attendre. Hum, non, c'est là-bas. Non mais sérieusement, tu vas pas me dire qu'il n'y a pas la place de passer C'est un petit peu abusé. Bah du coup, hop, j'en profite. Alors, on a une lettre. Oh, c'est une voix sans issue. Ok. Oui, je me garde n'importe où. <rire> J'en ai rien à foutre. Bloque la circulation. Le courrier avant tout. 
Non mais sérieusement, quand on voit nos facteurs qui sont capables de s'arrêter en plein milieu de la rue, des fois même une rue où tu as du mal à passer en double sens, tu as des chicanes et tout ça, nous on a pas mal de petits villages comme ça. Et des, le facteur, il a pas le choix, ou la factrice, ils ont pas le choix, ils se mettent en plein milieu. Donc toi t'attends. Et voilà. Et encore là je fais une maison par une maison. Et quand ils font leur tournée et qu'ils ont plus, ils font toutes, euh, toutes les maisons euh, les unes à côté des autres. Et c'est pas la même. Allez. C'est un peu pénible par contre la caméra, je voudrais la garder dessus comme ça pour voir où je vais. Et elle n'arrête pas de venir se remettre euh, au cul du camion. Voilà, comme ça. C'est pénible. Euh, c'est où C'est ici. Par contre, on n'a aucune donnée de, de temps. C'est assez perturbant au final. Alors, il faut aller où J'ai oublié un colis. Ok. On va prendre à gauche à la prochaine. C'est pour le 102, donc c'est celui d'après. Hop là. C'est bon, le jeune personne ici ah, il pourrait refaire la route, hein. Le bitume, il est tout craqué. 102, Pine Street. Tac, tac, tac. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Voilà, j'espère qu'il n'y a pas trop de voleurs... Euh... Par ici. Alors, next. Euh, je vais aller là-bas. Je finirai ici et je reprends le chat euh, en passant. Ou alors je vais là, je prends le chat, je le redépose après ici. Ouais, ça me paraît être une bonne idée. Ouais, je bloque l'autre. <rire> Sortira pas. Mange encore des crêpes et des pancakes. Moi je dis ça parce que c'est le matin. On va pas passer aux burgers ou aux œufs. Oh des œufs bacon. Oh, ah ouais. Bonjour Maureen. Hi Maureen. Hi hon. How are you doing this fine day? Um... I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding. Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. Didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. How's life treating you, darling? Mm. It's all right, actually. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yeah, she told me. How did that go for you? It was a bit weird seeing her again. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you. 22 ans, Especially vous imaginez? For so long. Then again, there are some things that never change, right? Well, this diner sure did. Glad you noticed. I like what you did with the place. Yeah, I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Oh my gosh, Maureen, Stan died? I'm so sorry, I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been 10 years already. Whoa. 10 and a half, almost. Oh. Boy, did I love that man. <sighs> We've been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while, Mitten. I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. That's really inspiring. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did. For me, but also for Kay. She 
She took her uncle's death pretty hard. I can imagine that. Oh, sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? Um... I'm not sure. Oh, it's okay, hun. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. Oh, nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little, is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. Uh, pop, 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 pop. It was good to see her again. I've missed her too. Then, it sounds like you know what to do. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. Yes, sir. Hand on my heart, I will return as soon as I have a delivery. Or sooner. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. Voilà. Alors, on va essayer d'esquiver la tarte aux myrtilles. <rire> Ça fait deux fois. Allez, direction le chat. Et le nombre de lettres qu'elle a dans son truc, et le nombre de lettres qu'on doit livrer, à mon avis, elle en garde de côté histoire de se laisser du boulot pour les autres jours. <rire> Mr. Mackey. Hi there, Mr. Mackey. How's Mortimer? Oh, good day, Meredith. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. A good night's rest and a bit of lake trout in the morning has done the little crew ah, bah, tant mieux. good. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? Hmm. I'm having fun, yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Have a nice day. Allez. On a bien fait, comme ça on va amener le chat en même temps. Je vais le foutre dans le coffre. Quoi que. Oh, si, c'est ma première livraison. Allez, je vais le mettre sur le siège à côté de moi. Il aura peut-être un peu moins peur que d'être balloté parmi les autres colis. Elle nous attend Regardez Look who's back Mortimer Oh, look at you You're good as new Yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm, I suppose he's right. It's it's just that he likes them so uh, bien much. Sûr. Don't you, Mortimer? Anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith, Mortimer. <laughs> Ok, ça c'est fait. Et un succès au passage, ami des chats. Euh, une petite lettre par là-bas. Hop, on a une nouvelle lettre pour notre ami le bûcheron. Bonjour, bonjour a face I remember. Ah, bah voilà. Euh... Good morning, Mr. Harris. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Eh, take a look for yourself. Thanks. Oh, it gets worse every day. More bull crap? Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lakeside for years. 
And now they're going to bulldoze it and build apartments. Oh. oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? You grew up here? Of course, sir. Yes, my father was the mailman before me. Mr. Weiss. Ah, so you're the prodigy he's always talking about. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But tell me about that paperwork. They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down town hall. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing a chainsaw can't handle. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well... Maybe I can help out. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Would you? Si jamais. Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. Good day, Mr. Harris. Je suis un peu. I'm done thinking about it. Maybe you'd want to go through all the files together tomorrow afternoon at most. Food and drinks on me. Okay. Mm, sure. Who can say no to food and drinks at Moe's? Awesome. I'll see you there then. I'll bring all the paperwork. Okay. Bye. Voilà. On n'a plus qu'à retourner à la poste. Et après, bah, on retournera chez nous. On a un rendez-vous avec la dame du vidéo club. Et demain, on aura rendez-vous avec Monsieur Harris. Robert de son petit prénom. Je vais faire le tour par là. No, Angie Eastman, you can't really create a woman with a computer. What movie is that? <laughs> It's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit. I figured you with your computer Fait penser une vieille série. All right. I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling Même ever since Lisa we started talking. Ça. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python... <laughs> Brian. Brian. Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> you know, you don't really look the part of a computer nerd either. Oh, c'est marrant, c'est regarder les deux tableaux qu'on a ici. On... Voilà, on les retrouve ici. Euh... I'll take that as a compliment. Thanks. Well, I do kind of have a thing for nerds, but I'm also a sucker for someone in uniform. So I guess you tick multiple boxes. <laughs> so, any particular okay. you're not in the factory anymore? Um yeah, it's complicated. Multiple reasons, I guess. Push and pull. Okay, well, I totally get wanting something different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Ah oui. Then, Autre chose. yeah, Providence Oaks is pretty different. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter, for one thing. Slower, for another. Yeah, those are the two things I like best about it. Me too. I think. It took some getting used to. So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean for free? Yeah. You know the town. You're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look! It's a VCR in a box, and it's portable too, so you can take it to anyone. Okay. Wow, never seen one of those before. I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like. All you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice. Then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it. Mm. Okay, but what's the revenue model here? Oh, you! Not everything is about money. It's about promoting the store. Which, I guess, is ultimately about money. Here, I'll give you these two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? Yeah. The mechanic girl at the gas station, right? 
Yes, good. I have these two for her. The love bug and a nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> this one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Well, not exactly. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's it for now. If you're bon in, film. that is. So, you in? All right. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. Pourquoi on dirait non? All right. Bon service. Thanks a bunch, babe. Now, do you have any more of this great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? On était petite. Store unattended. Better get back. OK. I understand. Talk to you soon? Absolutely. Bye babe. Le jeudi soir, c'était un petit peu malaisant quand même, hein, des moments. Tu sais pas trop ce qu'elle veut. Soit elle profite de nous, soit elle nous drague, soit je ne sais pas. Hello. Hey, Hello. Hey dad, how's life? I heard something about poker, fishing and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? Um I'm starting to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Frank's quite the character indeed. He said you helped him out once. Uh, more than once. Well, what can I say? He likes baseball a bit too much. He plays as a bet every now and then. Nothing too serious. And what about Bert Mackey? Bert. Uh, Bert doesn't like to talk much, but he's got a heart of gold. Stay on his good side. Speaking of staying on the good side, your mom's telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, stand by me. <laughs> About four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Sounds good. Say hi to Mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. Euh... Ah oui, il faut qu'on bosse sur les documents. Here we go. Vendredi 5 septembre au matin. Ah bah non Livraison sous la pluie. Rise and shine, P.O. The time has come for a... P.O. Positive for that team. Today's contribution is from Mildred, the senior authority on pets and thieves. It's a so positive this time. Mildred Jenkins. <laughs> oh, that's heavier than I thought. Bonjour, bonjour. C'est vrai qu'à l'époque on pouvait fumer à l'intérieur. Here's the mail, ma'am. One of those yellow parcels. Isn't yellow the color of fun and happiness? It's for that thing behind the door, a photography mini lab. They installed it last week and they want me to operate it. As if I don't have enough on my plate already. That's pretty nice actually. I love photography. Some people think they can become professional photographers overnight. Well, photography can be just for fun too, right? Look, if you want to take photographs, knock yourself out. They want me to practice with the mini lab before the service is officially offered. They sent me a practice kit with the camera and film. Really? I'd love to take pictures. Si the surroundings here are wonderful. Well, here you go, and good luck. Take some pictures and then return it to me. Have a nice day, ma'am. Allez, maintenant. C'est pour prendre l'appareil photo. Euh, 
Ok. Première photo. Je sais pas combien de photos on peut prendre. Il fait pas très beau, donc euh, c'est pas trop une réussite. Et mignonne cette boîte aux lettres. Alors, j'ai livré le, le quartier. On peut faire... Euh, on a L. Et après, on aura là-bas dans le coin. Très bien. Profitez pour faire quelques photos. Allez, hop. On va lui donner... Euh... Wait. Where's the package? Ah oui. Pardon. Hop. Allez, on va lui apporter la petite valise avec le magnétoscope. Hey, Miss W. You got some mail for me today? No, but I have something else. Angie from the Flick Shack asked me to deliver some movie boxes. She also asked me to deliver some to you. Oh, tight. What are the options? Let me see. The love bug or a nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, that last one might be too scary. Too scary. I'm almost 16, Miss W. <laughs> take a horror movie. If you say so, Lori, I wouldn't want you to get any actual nightmares. I promise I won't get any nightmares. So you'll pick a nightmare on Elm Street? Give me the love bug. I thought you didn't want that one. Ugh, I don't. But if my parents catch me watching Elm Street, they'll kill me for weeks. I wish they'd just take a chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I fix cars. Oh, no, that's too bad, Lori. Maybe you can watch it at a friend's house instead. No, I'm homeschooled. There aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. So I don't really have any friends to watch it with. So it's a love bug for me. Tell you what. Take the love bug now and we'll watch the horror movie at my place. Would Sunday work for you? What? Really? Yes, it would. That'd be wicked, Miss W. Of course. I'm always in for a good fright. So, ah, bien sûr. Totally. Thanks so much. Deal. Have a nice day. D'ailleurs, euh, en parlant de choses qui font peur, euh, et on stream sur Twitch euh, tous les mardis et jeudis de 21h à 23h. N'hésitez pas à venir nous retrouver, à poser un petit like, etc. Papoter un petit peu avec le chat. Et surtout, en ce moment, bah, on est sur, euh, on a démarré une nouvelle série de, de jeux d'horreur. De, voilà. Donc n'hésitez pas, venez flipper avec nous. Bon, dites-moi en commentaire si vous trouvez que votre facteur ou factrice euh, fait du bon boulot si vous êtes satisfait. Je vous parle pas des livreurs chronopost. Hein. Je parle bien de, du facteur ou de la factrice. Oh, sympa. Hey, uh. Hello, sir. I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. I reckon your name is Jack Reynolds? Indeed I am. And I reckon you're the new postal worker. Mm. Indeed I am. Well, thank you much. New around here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and DJ. I'm Meredith. <laughs> nice to meet you. DJ and farmer? That's a rare combo. Indeed it is. But it's a nice distraction from farm. I've seen better times. I had some spare time and a room in the shed, so I figured, why not? About your playlist. Hmm. It's really nice. Thanks, but I really need to add more songs. But I'm in the middle of a potato harvest. Don't have much time. Hey, listen, postal worker Meredith, I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? Sure, no problem. Thank you so much. 
Il n'y a pas de timbre, mais bon, on fait une livraison en direct. Allez, on a un nouveau colis pour Maureen. Ça te regarde pas. Hi Kay, delivery for the diner. Hey Meredith, sure, just uh, put it on the counter, would you? Kay, about the other day. What about it? How did things end up with the moon landing? Actually, I got stuck on the moon. But then I took a really big jump for the rocket and got back on board just in time. Grace voiced a few objections regarding the scientific accuracy of that <laughs> move, but hey. <laughs> Grace sounds like a great kid. Yep. So... I talked to Maureen. Let me guess, you got a piece of Maureen's wisdom too, eh? Why doesn't that surprise me? That explains why she wanted me to take over today's shift, then. She told me about Uncle Stan. I'm so sorry. On, on est gentil. J'ai dit que j'étais quelqu'un de poli. Enfin, Meredith était quelqu'un de poli. I appreciate it. It's not the same without him. Compatissante, avenante, etc. I'm sorry I wasn't there. For you and Maureen. That's kind of you to say, Meredith. I mean, I didn't contact you about it at the time, but then again, I had kind of given up by then. I guess everyone has their own things to deal with, even me. I get it. There's always a reason for things to go the way they do. Oh. Even so, it never seems to be the right reason. Time marches on. What did Maureen always say about that again? One day you realize it's, it's marching, marching across, across your face. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mo. Some things never change. Right. You say that like it's a good thing. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Em. It was good to talk, I mean, you know. Yeah, it was. I have to get back to it, but see you around, maybe? I'm sure. See ya. Alors, on se rattrapera plus tard, pas de soucis. De toute façon, faut que je bosse. Et elle, elle m'a pas proposé de tarte à la myrtille. Hein. Allez, normalement, j'ai rencard avec... Euh... Voilà, on a rencard avec euh, Robert. Meredith and Robert. Welcome to Moe's. Table for two. Hi, Maureen. Yes, please. A quiet one if possible. We've got work to do. Is that what they're calling it now? <laughs> Speaking of work, Robert, someone reckon they could fix the roof themselves and uh, <clears throat> made it worse somehow. I mean, foot just went right through. No physical harm, thankfully. The roof, yes. I promise to take a look at it. Uh, let me check out the damage real quick. Be right back. Thanks, darling. Hmm. Sure is one of the good ones right there. He seems very nice, but I haven't actually talked to him longer than 10 minutes. What's time got to do with anything? You know what you want when you see it, hon. Oh, Maureen, please. What do you take me for? For a human being, of course. Don't go telling me city life turned you into a robot now. <laughs> I don't buy it for a second. Anyway, let me show you to my nicest tell. table. I or the sun hits your face in all the right places here. Entre okay, mes so what you're saying is there's a couple of things we can do, but no chainsaws. Definitely no chainsaws for the moment. It's just that the remaining options will take time, effort, and patience. Well, that's one out of three for me. Can I get you lovebirds? Anything else? <laughs> Maureen, really? I could always decide not to fix your roof today, you know. Don't worry, Robert. I know Maureen. 
I'm sure she doesn't mean anything by it. <laughs> A coffee refill would be nice. Thanks, Maureen. Gotcha, hun. Robert? The same for me, please. Sure thing. Back in a jiff. Ashley, is that coffee machine oh, no. still running? <laughs> they what? Glad we're finally done for today. But there's more to come. I'm sure you'll do fine. Thanks, but you don't sound very convincing. Um. To be honest, you probably need some extra help. Is that an offer? Yeah, sure. Okay, you two hard-working individuals. Here you go. Thanks, Maureen. Uh, more coffee. How could anyone survive without it? So, how's life in PO so far? It's only been a week, but... So far, so good. Yeah, I've been here a bit longer. Time sure does fly. Right. I'm sure you must have some good stories. People see Yeah, uh, look, Meredith, I'm sorry. I really better get started on fixing that roof. It's just, uh, that's quite a big job. While it's still light out and all. You know. So, thanks so much for your help. I mean, I really do appreciate it. Drive home safe. Um, I'll see you around town. So, yeah, I'll see you. You miss him, sir? Everything okay over here? Yeah, I guess. I, I'm not sure. Y'a eu un petit malaise quand même, non? Good day. My name is Walter Morgan. I'm from the Postal Service. I'm calling with regards to compliance to policies and guidelines, such as the use of Postal Service property, code of conduct, and so on. Ah. I will be in touch again soon. Faut que j'arrête de d'être gentil avec tout le monde. Meredith, it's Steve. Oh, hi, Steve. Thanks so much for improving the text and sending it back to me. I'm confident this will improve our chances of securing a monster deal. It better help. It wasn't the most fun I've ever had. You won't regret it. It's a monster deal. The big retailer, big money, big prizes. Calm down, Steve. And what happens now? <laughs> well, yes, calmness is needed. Eyes on the prize. The next steps are me going to meet up with them this week. Discuss terms. Okay. Okay, Steve. Good luck. Thanks, Meredith. Speak soon. Bon, il va falloir qu'on fasse attention quand même aux petits services qu'on rend aux gens. On va regarder la télé. Hmm. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. I have good news. Jean-Paul has agreed to become the chef of the downtown restaurant. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Rock and roll. There is only one problem. Jean-Paul is not a cook, but a car technician. Good morning, Meredith. There's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey in June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? Um. Yeah, I think I know where it is. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> no, it's about something else. What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. Ok, nouvelle journée, nouvelle tournée. Et on n'a pas grand chose à faire. Ok, eh bien écoutez, ce sera pour le prochain épisode. On va s'arrêter ici, nous, en ce qui nous concerne. J'espère que ça vous a plu. Pensez au petit pouce bleu. N'hésitez pas, l'espace commentaire est là pour vous. Parlez-moi de votre facteur. 
On se retrouve très rapidement pour la suite de cette aventure. Je vous fais plein de bisous. À très vite. Bye bye.